So 29-year-old Angel Sanchez Jr. now in custody following this shocking sucker punch of a California man as he pushed his 10-month-old granddaughter in a stroller. Police now say the attack in Calabasas, California, uh, home to many Hollywood celebrities, may have been racially motivated. Here to re hear a reaction, former L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva. Uh, Sheriff, been to L.A. with you a ton of time, seen the devastation there. But it looks like this type of behavior is just openly accepted now. Why? It's becoming the norm because this whole, the political establishment in L.A. has embraced the idea of reforming the criminal justice system, reimagining public safety, but they don't care about the public's safety. Prime example, with the defunding and the hiring freeze, now there's a third less of deputies in patrol right now. Every single patrol station, including this one, Lost Hills Malibu, is, has more than 30% vacancies. So that's less cops on the street, more crooks, free to do things like this abhorrent behavior from this fool right here. But Sheriff, who are these people? I mean, I go to L.A., we, where were we at? Venice Beach together, I see the people applauding you. Uh, they're, they're saying, look, you got the homelessness off the street. I go and I do MOSs with the people. They say we're tired of the violence in the street. And then you have an election like yours and you don't get reelected. I, I just don't understand, what is the electorate in L.A.? Well, apparently there's a big slice of the electorate that's very gullible. They bought into the whole thing that, oh my God, there are deputy gang members running the department with no evidence whatsoever, but they bought into it because it was already a perceived bias that they had against law enforcement. They fed into it. And when you have officials like the Board of Supervisors, like the district attorney or sheriff's candidate saying, oh yeah, we got deputy gangs here. Well, then people say, oh, I guess there's deputy gangs. So let's not, let's not apply to be a deputy for one. And oh my God, that sheriff, he must be a gang member himself. They actually bought into that hoax. And what it boils down is a hoax with very dangerous consequences. Sheriff, I, I just wonder if, if there's any hope for L.A. Beautiful place, beautiful place. So many talented people there. But it doesn't look like it's turning around anytime soon. We got to get a hold of the political body. I'm running for the Board of Supervisors for that very reason, to get some sanity back into the Board of Supervisors to start not just funding law enforcement, but actually respecting and supporting the hard work of the men and women in law enforcement across the lines. Get a district attorney who prosecutes hate crimes. Yeah. Things like that. Getting the state legislator to actually have standalone hate crime for the state of California. Right now, it's just a supplemental charge. It's not a standalone crime itself, hate crime. There's a lot of things that need to be fixed. They can be fixed. But the current people in, in office right now are not going to fix them. Yeah. I can't wait to get this guy's criminal record. I mean, just a sucker punch an elderly person with a child in the stroller. Truly sick. Sheriff, thanks so much. Good seeing you. Uh, good seeing you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.